was a real pioneer. He had to team with uh, George Westinghouse, and then they built a system around alternating current and delivering it to big cities, which made electricity, lights in the homes, and a raft of other inventions. The Philadelphia Experiment is a series of secret military projects which took place in 1943 in the Philadelphia shipyard. Involved a US Navy destroyer that underwent the most strangest of experiments. Nikola Tesla, a name that evokes curiosity and wonder. This brilliant mind revolutionized our world in ways we are still uncovering and benefiting from today. As the world grappled with his passing, the full extent of Tesla's genius and his concealed inventions began to emerge, leaving behind a captivating legacy. But before Tesla's death, he unveiled some shocking secrets. What was this revelation? And why was it kept hidden? Join us as we explore how Nikola Tesla broke his silence just before his death, revealing something truly astonishing. Before his demise, Nikola Tesla uncovered a terrifying mystery that he accepted to be of extraterrestrial origin. During the discussion about this extraordinary topic, Joe Rogan, a famous YouTuber, let it slide that while Tesla submerged himself in tests in his Colorado Springs Research Center, he made a gadget known as a paramedical amplifying glass with the strong objective of giving free energy and intruding broadcast communications. One evening, Tesla was adjusting his receiving device when he detected an unusual signal. The gadget echoed uncommon rhythmic sounds that made Tesla wonder for no particular reason and interpret them as intentional mathematical transmissions from an intelligent source. Tesla's belief in the extraterrestrial origin of these signals was based on several factors. The peculiar nature of the sounds, as opposed to the known signals at that time, and their mathematical accuracy fascinated him. Tesla believed that these signals indicated the existence of imperceptible equipment in our world's environment. He affirmed that they were deliberately created by intelligent beings from another universe. Tesla's conviction was not a mere hypothesis, but rather a thorough investigation of the unique and coordinated nature of the signals, ruling out the possibility of them being artificially generated. This confirms the reasoning that led him to suggest that the key to their source is likely to be found outside our planet, maybe on Mars. The sound of some signs had an extraterrestrial quality. To begin with, the sounds were abnormal and dissimilar to any regular sounds known at that time. These were not random radio signals that could be blocked by Earth's atmosphere. It had a clear pattern that led him to a remarkable conclusion. These signs were not of terrestrial origin, but produced by intelligent beings from another universe. His confidence in the extraterrestrial origin of these signals was not a mere guess. To him, these signs were a message from intelligent beings. Nonetheless, he was convinced that the source lay beyond our planet, possibly on the red planet Mars. In the late 1800s, Nikola Tesla was already a well-known figure for his electrical inventions when he made a statement that caused a significant commotion in the scientific community. He stated that he had received peculiar signals from his advanced equipment that he believed did not originate on Earth. Tesla speculated that these mysterious transmissions were potentially communications from other planets, possibly even from intelligent extraterrestrial beings. This bold assertion was well ahead of its time, particularly because radio astronomy as a field would not be established until several decades later. Though many were doubtful of his claim, they could not entirely dismiss the possibility. After all, this was Tesla, a man whose previous weird ideas had transformed the world. His speculations sparked a lively debate, leading people to wonder whether we are truly alone in the universe. The mere concept of superterrestrial communication, as introduced by Tesla, became a catalyst for future discussions on extraterrestrial life. It pushed boundaries, challenging our comprehension of the Earth and our place within it. In preparing for war, government and military heads strive to get effective weapons that can clear out the enemies easily such as this mysterious weapon invented by Tesla. Will it be effective in wars? The terrifying revelation of the death ray, a defensive weapon, was proposed by Tesla in 1934. The Teleforce death ray reveals an amazing concept. Operating in a vacuum chamber, the device accelerated rock and electrically burned it with high energy and precision. 
Tesla's innovation was different from the death rays of today, as it used particles instead of beams to transmit energy. This allowed for trillions of times more energy to be transmitted over long distances. In a letter to J.P. Morgan, Jr., Tesla proposed using his invention for air defense and protection against aerial bombing. Tesla's device was designed to be a directed energy weapon that could destroy enemy aircraft from a distance. If it were to be developed, it had the potential to revolutionize warfare and put entire nations at risk. Tesla took the death ray seriously and believed that it was a feasible invention. Despite Tesla's claims, no physical prototype or working model of the death ray was ever publicly demonstrated, which led to much speculation. Some skeptics dismissed it as pure fantasy, while others believed that the potential danger of the weapon led to its concealment, or sabotage. The debates surrounding the death ray were not only about its existence, but also its implications. Many feared that in the wrong hands, such a weapon could shift the balance of global power. The death ray's enigmatic nature serves as a haunting reminder of the extent of Tesla's brilliance and the narrow gap between innovation and destruction. Despite this, Tesla clarified that the death ray was based on particles, underscoring the exceptionalism of his creation. This covert invention stands as a tribute to Tesla's forward-thinking but often misinterpreted genius. Communication is complex in human relationships, and diverse ways have been adopted to make it easier, clearer, and faster. However, Tesla has a foresight into this through electric waves. What was his plan? In the countdown of the remarkable discoveries about Nikola Tesla after his passing, radio communication and the world system take the top spot. Tesla's groundbreaking work in radio communication and the global system was visionary, as he predicted the world we now accept as normal more than a century ago. Although radio was still in its infancy, Tesla was already pioneering its fundamental principles and imagining a world where electromagnetic waves could transmit messages over long distances, creating a network of interconnected communications. This network was not limited to music or news, but also included a global information network that bears a remarkable resemblance to the internet we use today. Nikola Tesla had been contemplating the basics of radio innovation since around 1892, before petitioning for a patent in November 1898 for a groundbreaking invention, a radio-controlled watercraft. Tesla unveiled this extraordinary invention at the Madison Square Garden Electrical Exhibition in 1898. With a receiving wire to capture radio waves sent from a remote location, Tesla's boat was equipped with a coherer, which converted the waves into mechanical movements, allowing the boat to move forward. Tesla operated the boat in different directions using manual controls while at the order station. This invention garnered national attention by utilizing radio waves to gather public announcements. Despite Guglielmo Marconi usually being credited as the inventor of the radio, Tesla's experiments and knowledge of these waves paved the way for frequency modulation, or FM radio, and created technologies that dominated the 20th century. It is truly remarkable to consider that a man from the late 18th hundreds was able to accurately predict the wireless world we currently inhabit through his theories and inventions. Tesla's work in radio communication was not only about innovation, but also about interconnectedness, as he provided humanity with a plan for the future of global communication, solidifying it as one of his most profound legacies. Tesla's association with electricity runs deep, encompassing not only scientific accomplishments, but also creativity, uniqueness, and lasting allure. Tesla was reportedly born amidst a fierce thunderstorm in Smilyan. His arrival during a lightning storm was seen as symbolic of his future contributions to the field. This foreshadowed the remarkable bond he would have with the forces of electricity. Throughout his life, Tesla was fascinated with electrical forces, and this fascination seemed to go beyond mere scientific curiosity. He often spoke of electricity with reverence, describing it as more than just physical fact. For him, electricity was a living, vibrant force that pulsed with energy and potential. Tesla believed that his profound and almost mystical connection with electricity was evident in his tireless work and groundbreaking innovations. 
He didn't merely study electricity, he communicated with it, understanding its whispers and harnessing its might in ways that seemed miraculous to many. For Tesla, electricity was not just a subject of scientific inquiry, it was a lifelong companion that guided him through discoveries that would forever change the world. His pioneering work on alternating current electrical systems, challenging Edison's dominance of direct current, gave birth to the practical induction motor and transformer, revolutionizing electrical distribution. As we revisit Tesla's life, we are reminded of the limitless possibilities of human wisdom, which inspires future inventors and shapes the future. Driven by his visionary spirit, Tesla's legacy continues to electrify the world brilliantly, overcoming myths and controversies. Conflict between human beings has always been present, but when it has to do with malicious and slanderous actions, then it's no longer conflict, but war. What went wrong between Tesla and Edison, seeing that they once had a boss-employee relationship? In a historical conflict popularly known as the War of the Currents, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla faced their rivals' electrical systems. These two brilliant innovators, each with their unique vision for the future of electrical power, faced off in what became known as the War of the Lights. After Tesla arrived in the United States, he began collaborating with Edison, who was already an established inventor and businessman. Their partnership, however, didn't last long. Their primary disagreement was over their opposing beliefs in electrical systems. Edison favored direct current DC, a system he had developed and heavily invested in, while Tesla believed in the potential of alternating current, AC. Tesla saw AC as superior, particularly for long-distance power transmission, due to its ability to easily change voltages using transformers. As their rivalry intensified, Tesla parted ways with Edison and eventually joined forces with George Westinghouse. Together they worked to promote the AC system, which ultimately became the global standard for power distribution and solidified Tesla's visionary approach to electricity. This monumental shift not only transformed the electrical landscape, but also established Tesla as a force that challenged convention and changed the world. Tesla who developed the AC short circuit motor and related transformers, aligned with George Westinghouse to challenge the direct current system created by Edison. Unwilling to give in, Edison launched a PR campaign to discredit AC by emphasizing its perceived dangers. He distributed pamphlets with an ominous title. The Edison Electric Light Company warned about the safety of alternating current. Competition increased and engineering societies became battlegrounds for heated disputes. Journalists eagerly sought Edison's comments on such tragedies, which he used to further play down AC. Edison recommended the electric current as a humane method of execution powered by alternating current. Despite initial doubt, Edison's opinions influenced decision-makers, leading to the use of alternating current in executions. Edison allowed Harold Pitney Brown to conduct experiments in his laboratory that resulted in stray dogs being electrocuted with alternating currents furthering his slanderous tactics. These events were made public to emphasize the danger of alternating current. Two important events that would be investigated in the future were essential for Edison's invention of Westinghouse, which was the result of the War of Currents. Alternating current is now the standard for global electricity distribution networks. This technology is used to light our homes, increase industrial efficiency, and power the digital world. Thanks to Tesla's innovative thinking, the development of electrical systems that use alternating current has allowed us to transmit energy over great distances with minimal loss. Tesla's forward thinking has had a significant impact on how we distribute and utilize electricity. It is not just about lighting our homes, but also about powering industries and working in the digital age. Despite attempts to suppress them, his ideas have endured over time, proving that great ideas will persist. Driven by the desire to transmit energy wirelessly, Tesla came up with an invention that satisfies this urge. What is this invention and its capabilities? Tesla birthed the revolutionary Tesla coil in 1891, driven by a visionary quest to transmit global power wirelessly. This pioneering invention marked the beginning of wireless power transmission and reflects Tesla's mastery of the principles of electromagnetic force and resonance. The Tesla coil, a world-changing invention, 
was not an ordinary device. It represented a game-changing concept in the field of electricity. At its core, the coil was made to transmit electricity wirelessly, freeing the world from the constraints of cords and cables. Tesla envisioned a future where energy could move freely through the air, and his vision was truly transformative. The implications of such a technology were vast, going beyond mere power transmission. With the Tesla coil, he showcased an early version of wireless energy transfer, inspiring countless inventors to follow. Furthermore, Tesla's work with the coil unintentionally paved the way for advancements in radio frequency lighting, demonstrating his exceptional ability to anticipate technologies far ahead of his time. The Tesla coil was a testament to Tesla's belief that the world could harness and use energy in ways that were once thought impossible. It was not just a coil, but rather a glimpse into the future. A Tesla coil consists of two coils, a primary and a secondary coil, each containing capacitors connected by a spark plug. It works with a high voltage supply through a transformer to achieve resonance that maximizes the energy transfer between the coils. Although ideally self-powered, practical limitations require an external power source. Precise timing allows users to control the voltage with adjustable rotary spark plugs, enabling mesmerizing flash displays and synchronized musical effects. Although the direct use of the Tesla coil has reduced, its profound influence on the understanding and applications of electricity remains, and modern devices, such as radios and televisions, still use its principles. A U.S. warship was believed to have teleported in Philadelphia, and this strange happening was linked to Tesla's weird action. But what transpired? The Philadelphia experiment is a mysterious story involving celebrities such as Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein who were recruited into secret military projects. This strange story connects Nikola Tesla with the Philadelphia Experiment, one of the most talked about military experiments. The story speaks of a U.S. Navy warship that vanished into thin air only to reappear moments later. Some people believe that this marvel of invisibility and teleportation was a result of Tesla's groundbreaking research on electromagnetic fields. They believe that his deep exploration into energy frequencies gave the military the ability to manipulate time and space. However, it is difficult to definitively trace Tesla's involvement in this experiment due to the thick veil of secrecy that shrouds military projects. Historians and scientists have different opinions on this matter. Some argue that Tesla's involvement is an essential piece of the puzzle that cannot be ignored, while others caution against such claims, labeling them as speculative fiction. Regardless of one's stance, the mere connection of Tesla's name with such an otherworldly event highlights the profound and often enigmatic impact he had on the world of science and invention. Tesla's pivotal endeavors started in 1899 with the foundation of a station in Colorado. Here, he achieved astounding accomplishments like communicating power remotely and estimating air frequencies. He was believed to have created instruments for uncommon heights, including parting the earth. The Protection Office's 1993 designs for a thermosphere research office in the frozen north drew from Tesla's licenses, hiding the procedures for air control and molecule age. This record intertwines with the getting through secret of the Philadelphia experiments. Since the advent of traveling and studying outer space, there have been different signals, signs, and evidence of life. Tesla, however, plans to utilize majestic light that came from space. What did he plan to use it for? Tesla's vast association started around 1900. Tesla has been interested in magnificent light arriving at the Earth from space. His experiences went before Victor Franz Hess 1912, proof of imposing beam percents, which procured Hess a Nobel Prize selection in 1936. This was the third time Tesla missed the Nobel gesture. Infinite light, with its mind-boggling synthesis and high energy, is as yet a subject of discussion. Tesla guessed that the sun and stars produced positive charges consumed via planets like Earth. He assessed the sun's electric charge, 
albeit the approach stays confusing. Tesla's tests were outstanding with raised ball capacitors and uncovered captivating properties, including occasional and day-to-day -day limit varieties. He connected these impacts with waves created by the sun in the climate, a disclosure he expected to promote before his passing. Tesla's spearheading work on infinite beams and barometrical signs remains a captivating part of his heritage, offering experiences into the universe's secrets. Tesla's desire for general free energy at any point resulted in a reality where power streamed unused. Tesla imagined only that a perpetual clean energy source be made available to all contradicting coal-terminated plants contaminating the air. He speculated the earth held onto electrical flows which, when tackled through exact releases, could yield limitless energy using low recurrence waves. Among his trying investigations was remote power transmission, resisting the customary way of thinking. His point was to free mankind from depending on petroleum products, considering them inefficient and destructive. Speculations by scientists suggest that Tesla's idea of free energy could upset the exhibition due to its lack of common sense. Nevertheless, his unparalleled ability to visualize and improve continued to thrive. The downfall of his pinnacle in 1917 was a turning point, leaving Tesla in a difficult financial situation and unable to replicate his past successes. His disappointment was a difficulty for both him and progress, denying humankind his genius creations. The arrival of 64 extra pages of recently handled material by the Administrative Department of Examination reveals insight into the researcher Nikola Tesla, including a list of papers seized by the U.S. government after his demise in 1943. The capture of these papers started contention, energized by claims that the FBI kept Tesla's most hazardous developments, which were under the workplace of an outsider property overseer, until they evaporated. After the war, Chief J. Edgar Hoover handled various requests for their public delivery, provoked by Tesla's account. Despite beliefs about Tesla's compositions, an assessment by a Massachusetts Foundation of Innovation Engineer considered them of little worth to the country. Also, the specialized gadgets found in Tesla's apartments were exposed as outdated electrical instruments, not the model death ray. While this doesn't completely determine the secret about Tesla's missing impacts, it exposes a portion of the more stunning tricks about him. Tesla has an impact in almost all spheres of life. Branching into the transportation sector, he invented a turbine that could revolutionize transportation. What benefits does it have? Nikola Tesla possessed a remarkable visionary ability for the future, and one of his many inventions was the Tesla turbine, which had the potential to revolutionize entire industries. Unlike traditional turbines that use blades, Tesla's innovation employed flat plates that allowed fluids to move in natural paths, resulting in a simple yet creative design that promised unparalleled longevity and efficiency by reducing wear and tear. Tesla envisioned that his turbine would not only transform the power industry, but also transportation, by harnessing its tremendous power in cars, planes, and boats. The Tesla turbine operated at efficiency levels that were once considered impossible. And it wasn't just a mechanical invention, but also a testament to Tesla's belief that nature could provide elegant and powerful solutions when understood and respected. The Tesla turbine, concocted by Nikola Tesla in 1913, works without edges. It uses a unifying stream. The liquid is coordinated into smooth circles, creating rotational movement through the energy industry. The plates are stacked in basically the same manner as CDs on a post. Not at all like customary turbines which use cutting edges, the Tesla turbine takes advantage of the limited layer impact. It's known by different names, including bladeless turbine and prantle layer turbine. Tesla expected its use of geothermal power. As portrayed in our future method of force, the turbine's repairmen contrast essentially from bladed turbines. Instead of affecting edges, steam pressure works around the turbine's outskirts. This fringe pressure goes about as a self-overseeing system, restricting the heat flow under load. 
The turbine's overall speed to the liquid increments at high relative speeds, making steam act like a strong body, creating contact and intensity. This increments force at the rotor's hub, further developing productivity contrasted with customary turbines of Tesla's time. Earthquakes have been taught to be a natural happening due to the state of the earth plate in certain regions. However, Tesla was said to have invented a machine that can cause a natural quake. How proven is this? Nikola Tesla shared a tale about a quake that shook close to his research facility in New York. He claimed that the shake was caused by a little machine he was dabbling with, which was so minimized it could squeeze into a coat pocket. He was attempting to synchronize the vibrations of his machine with the structure. At the point when it started breaking, Tesla acknowledged it was approaching the structure's vibration recurrence and immediately shut it down to stop the chaos. At the point when police showed up, he ascribed the occurrence to a quake. In his 1935 birthday interview, Tesla declared a technique for sending mechanical energy with insignificant misfortune over significant distances, alongside another specialized strategy and a method for finding underground minerals. This framework, called telegeodynamics, depends on his responding motor creation. Tesla imagined sincere purposes for his innovation, like using vibrations to find minerals underground. Be that as it may, the framework never progressed past the model stage because of constraints in sending energy actually over significant distances. Notwithstanding this, what Tesla would call involving vibrations for underground prospecting laid the basis for current seismic investigation methods. Tesla's work has revealed a creation that seems to be straight out of a science fiction novel, The Mysterious Earthquake Machine. Tesla was deeply curious and explored the possibility of harnessing seismic forces by speculating and experimenting with them. He believed that it was possible to control and manipulate the earthquake, and envisioned an apparatus that could produce vibrations resonating with its natural frequencies, leading to powerful seismic waves. By finding the right frequency, Tesla claimed that it was theoretically possible to cause an earthquake, and he claimed to have built and tested such a device in his New York laboratory, allegedly causing a minor tremor. Although his work may seem alarming, it served as an important foundation for modern structural engineering. Engineers were better equipped to design buildings, bridges, and dams that could withstand earthquakes by understanding how structures responded to vibrations. Additionally, this experiment provided a foundational understanding of seismic activity, which now influences early warning systems that predict earthquakes. Tesla's venture into this realm, although startling, showcases the boundless bounds of his imagination, which continue to influence the ways we understand and interact with the very ground beneath our feet. Behind Tesla's genius creations and inventions lies some weird obsessions and a lifestyle that will leave you astonished. Who was Tesla as a man? Nikola Tesla was a brilliant man who had an obsession with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. According to Tesla, these numbers held a special significance, not only in mathematics, but in the very basis of existence itself. He believed that these numbers were like keys that could unlock the mysteries of the universe. Tesla was not just interested in electricity and mechanics, he was also interested in experiments that involved these numbers. He even developed certain rituals that involved these numbers, such as walking around a block three times before entering a building or washing his hands three times in a sequence. Tesla's ultimate goal was to provide universal free energy to everyone. He envisioned a future where homes and machinery would draw power directly from the environment rather than from centralized power plants. This would make electricity accessible to all without any discrimination or cost. One of the key insights that set Tesla apart was his understanding of the Earth's natural resonances, which he believed were similar to a charged metal ball. He believed that if we could resonate machinery at the same frequency as Earth, we could unlock a limitless supply of energy. This would not only provide free electricity, but would also revolutionize how we consume energy and change our understanding of the world's natural resources. Although many have speculated about what these numbers truly meant to Tesla, the exact nature of his obsession remains hidden in mystery. However, Tesla was a visionary who believed in using his deep knowledge to benefit humanity. Tesla had a dream to provide free energy to everyone. He didn't just invent things, but he had a bigger vision 
vision of people being able to use the Earth's resources in a way that would benefit everyone. He believed that this could help humanity become more powerful and harmonious. In the early 1900s, Nikola Tesla dreamed of creating a wireless energy transmission system. He worked tirelessly on his project, building a tower called Wardenclyffe Pinnacle. Despite some initial support, Tesla's project faced financial and technical challenges, causing him to lose out on potential profits by giving up his patent rights. However, his earlier work had already revolutionized urban power systems. When he returned to New York, Tesla tried to secure funding for his wireless transmission system, but he faced competition from another inventor, Marconi, whose radio technology was gaining more attention. Although Tesla completed the Wardenclyffe Pinnacle in 1901 and tested it until 1905, he lost ownership due to financial struggles and patent issues in 1915, and the tower was eventually demolished in 1917. Despite these setbacks, Tesla's legacy lives on, and his perseverance and influence on innovation are remembered at the Tesla Science Museum. After Nikola Tesla died, the U.S. government took away everything he owned, including his research papers and personal notes, using a law meant for taking property from people who weren't Americans. This happened quickly and made people curious and worried. They wondered what Tesla was working on that was so important that the government had to take it all away so fast. Scientists talked a lot about what might be in Tesla's notes. They thought he might have come up with new ideas for technology that could change the world. People also worried that if his notes got into the wrong hands, it could be really dangerous. A lot of people imagined that Tesla had invented things that nobody had ever seen before, like special weapons that used energy. Some even thought he had figured out how to build things that were way ahead of their time. The Tesla Museum in Belgrade got some of Tesla's papers, but nobody knows for sure what was in the rest of his stuff. It's possible that he had even more amazing ideas that nobody will ever know about. What do you think about these discoveries and Tesla's inventions? Let us know in the comment section. While at it also, like, share, and subscribe for more exciting stories.